Hi, it's Reverend Tony. I am sitting here at beautiful Tyrone Farm in Pomfret, Connecticut, and I have some time before a wedding rehearsal begins. So I want to talk to you about my spiritual challenge for the month of October. October's theme is cultivating relationships. And so my challenge for you this month is to have a fair fight. Yes, I'm encouraging you to actually have an argument with somebody. But have a fair fight. Don't indulge in things that make arguing difficult or that get you off topic or bringing up past hurts. I also want you to have this argument or difficult conversation, not with a stranger or somebody who shares a different political opinion, but with somebody you know, maybe even someone you love, maybe a partner, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, somebody with whom you need to have a difficult conversation, maybe even an argument. When we need to do this, it's a good idea to make an appointment with the person, ask them if they'd be willing to get together with you at a certain time to talk about something difficult. And hopefully they'll say yes. And before you have that difficult conversation, that fair fight, use some resources. Read up on how not to be reactive, how to listen and be curious instead of responding right away, or reacting right away to something that might hurt you. Because you may hear things that are difficult too, I'm sure. If you need to have this type of conversation or this argument, you're not the only one who has some difficult things to say. You're probably going to hear some as well. I have a number of references for you. And the first one I'm going to talk about is a wonderful handbook called Tools for Difficult Conversations that was put together by a couple therapists who belonged to a congregation I served many years ago when I was down in Texas. And one of the big things I'd love to point out in that collection of resources is something they call pants before shoes. First things first, put your pants on before you put your shoes on. We do, in general, have a need to defend ourselves. It's a powerful reflex. So when someone says something to us that seems to attack us or hurts us, our first impulse can be to say something back, withdraw, attack in some way ourselves, and so Pants Before Shoes has us take a breath. Try to wait on explaining yourself until after you can show you understand the other person first. Put the pants on before your shoes. St. Francis called this, seek first to understand, then be understood. So we want to try and understand what someone else is saying first and then by showing that we understand where they are coming from and holding back our own reactivity and managing our own reactions, then they might hear our point of view better. It is much easier to put your pants on first than your shoes. It's a lot more difficult to put your pants on once your shoes are already on. So that's our pants before shoes. Another resource I have for you this month is an essay by Kelsey Borison called The Eight Worst Things You Can Do During an Argument with Your Partner. And these are probably the eight worst things you can do during an argument with anyone, not just your partner. And a couple of the things I really like on this list include don't hit below the belt, don't name call, and don't pick out insecurities or vulnerabilities, things you know will get the other person's goat and trigger them and take them off their game. To have a fair fight, you gotta both be able to be present and attuned to the issue at hand. Don't walk away or stonewall or refuse to engage or in a sense, take your ball and go home. After you've had the difficult conversation, maybe reflect on it a little bit. Maybe it'll cause you to journal or write a poem or make some art or whatever it is that you do creatively to express yourself. If you have a fair fight, a difficult conversation this month, and you take up this challenge, I'd love to hear from you and hear about your experience. I'm going to be modeling doing this during a service, a Sunday service in October. 
and I'll be doing this with a member of the board of the church so we can show people an example of how you might have a difficult conversation. When we belong to a congregation, one of the things we promise to do is to stay connected, to stay attached, to be self-differentiated, and even when we're having a difficult time, to have conversations with people, to talk about how we're feeling and what we're thinking, and to not just go off and get angry and not deal with things, even though they might be hard. That's part of the promise of covenant. So our spiritual challenge for this month is to have a fair fight. And I wish you a lot of luck on that. Use the resources, prepare, make an appointment, and reflect when you're done. I'd love to hear from you about how it went.